Good morning, world. Hello, everyone, everywhere. Pastor Robert Thibodeau here with another session of prayer 2021 for today, which is December 4th. Our scripture reading for today comes from Psalms 102, verse 17. He will respond to the prayer of the destitute. He will not despise their plea. Let's go to the Lord with a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, in Jesus' mighty name, we thank you and praise you for hearing our prayers. And Lord, we know your word says that if we know you hear our prayers, we have the confidence that we receive the petitions that we desire of thee. To you, Father, we give all honor, glory, and praise in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Now, we've been discussing who's responsible for our prayers being answered. Uh, yesterday, we left off with the fact that God has done all that he is going to do when it comes to answering your prayers. If it concerns healing or finances or loved ones, it really does not matter. He has already done all that he is going to do. Jesus paid the complete price, full price, when he went to that cross. There is nothing, nothing else to beg God for. There's nothing else to wait on God for. There's nothing else we can do except believe it is already so. That's our job. Amen. Don't shut me down when I'm preaching good. I know this steps all over some denominational toes out there. I know there are some well-meaning pastors and ministers that they don't want to get people's hopes up that their prayer has already been answered. But the person, maybe they can't appropriate it or whatever. So they don't want to disappoint them. They don't want to get their hopes up on this. Well, let me ask you this. Would you rather get your hopes up or would you rather I preach and keep putting you down and, and never giving you any hope whatsoever? Which one would you rather hear? Hope, right? Well, let me put it to you like this. Where does your hope lie for the forgiveness of all your sins? In Jesus. Where does your hope lie for eternal life? In Jesus. So where should your hope lie for everything else in this life? Same answer in Jesus. Amen. One more thing, then I'll close. Let's read Ephesians chapter 1, verse 3. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ. Okay. God has blessed us with what? He's blessed us with all spiritual blessings. That scripture does not say who God has, is going to someday, maybe, perhaps, bless us. That doesn't say that, does it? No. It says, has, past tense, blessed us. It's already been done. Do you believe God's word is true? Do you? Well, then you have to believe that verse too. Amen. Another translation says, with every spiritual blessing. That means every blessing. There is none to be had, none left out. We already got it. Amen. In Christ is all that we will ever need. All things have been provided for us if we will only believe it. Amen. Every need you will ever have in this life, from the time you were born until the time you die, has already been met. Every single one. Amen. We also know that we can appropriate the promises of God, the blessings of God for our own lives. We also know that it's God's will that every need be met because scripture says we are blessed with all spiritual blessings. That means nothing is left out and nothing is left undone. So how do we appropriate these promises? Through faith and through prayer and through the word. Pray the word over your situation. Believe by faith that the answer is already yours. For you are the one that has the authority and you are the one that has the responsibility for your answered prayer. Amen. All right, let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for, for opening our eyes to the truth of this scripture, to the truth that, that far too many people some of us, me as well from time to time, have been begging you to give us the answer to prayer when we already got it. And Father, we thank you and praise you for answered prayer. We thank you, Father, for provision in our lives. And we thank you that we receive it all through your word, through prayer, through and by Christ Jesus. We pray all of this in Jesus' name. Amen. 
and amen. Glory to God. Do me a favor, share this out on social media far and wide. Somebody somewhere needs to hear this word this day. Praise the Lord. And be sure you go over on our website, podcastforchrist.com. Take a look around there. Download those free resources. Till next time, this is Pastor Bob reminding you again, 1 Thessalonians 5, 17, the Living Bible says to always keep on praying. Be blessed, folks. Talk again tomorrow.